This is Kenny from Ransom Power. Today we're going to talk about the hybrid all one systems here. It's a complete system for the solar. It breaks the traditional installation mode because this system is with the integrated design and also can support the split stack installations. This set is designed with the hybrid inverters which combines the advantage of the grid connected and off-grid and automatically switch the operation during the power outage. Currently, this inverter, the switching time is less than 20 to 25 milliseconds and it also can be connected and sell to the grid with the extra energy. The economic benefits of the hybrid system is the highest and can reduce the use of generators. When the battery is in low SOC, you can choose to buy the electricity when the electricity is cheap without running a generator. This is a 5 kW hybrid inverter with built in two MPPD controllers. Each channel can be connected to a PV at a maximum of 500 volt, and solar panels can be connected at a maximum of 8 kW. So we can see there are two positive and the two negative PV poles at the wiring positions on the back. We designed the battery modules in the middle and the bottom to make it a power station system. And the IP is higher than the other traditional battery system. From the overall ceiling design and external surface like the AC port and the EPS port, all are back to the waterproof terminal. The outdoor installation is more flexible. Since this all-in-one was launched, we have received a lot of praise from the customers in the market. The reasons I like this system is it looks very beautiful, but also the internal assembly design and the circuit of the connections has been verified. It can work like other separate inverter and the batteries to run the system as stable and the plug and play. Usually we see more rack multi batteries or the work multi batteries. They can expand the capacity by connecting multiple batteries in parallel. Because the battery BNS itself is supported and have no limit to get access to the external inverters. As you can see, it's splitting from the inverter to the battery layers and the entire design is seamlessly wired. That's to say, if you like to increase the power generated of this system, you can follow in the below methods. The first one, the standard model is 5 kW hybrid inverter and the 10 kWh batteries. If you like to increase the power generated of the multiple PVs and the grid kinetic power, you can directly to connect the external inverters because all the interface is on the back like the EPS and the AC port and you can directly to connect the external inverters to do the parallel connections. It's very convenient. If the customer's battery energy storage is not enough, we recommend to connect extra all-in-one instead of the pill batteries because the wiring positions between the inverter and the batteries is still with the cover. If you only connect the pill batteries external, it means the wiring positions cannot be sealed with cover and it will not look so beautiful and completely. This may be the limitation of the all-in-one, but from the application point of view, this product was designed for the home energy storage. A 10 kilowatt hour battery with a 5 kilowatt inverter, or if it's 20 kilowatt hour batteries with the equipped 10 kilowatt inverters, which belongs to a reasonable configuration. So one more set directly to connect in parallel, no matter it's inverter or the batteries, which is in line with the application environment of the household energy storage. Let's talk about the battery connections and the communications between the inverter and battery. Firstly, I need to open the covers. As you can see, from the inverters to the batteries and the batteries to the batteries, we are connect first. The positive and the negative of the batteries will directly connect to the inverters, positive and the negative. And the wire we use is 25 millimeters of the pure copper wire, which can withstand above 125 MP working current. Of course, the battery does not need such large current. The EPS design of this inverter is less than 3.6 kW. It means the mass charging and discharging current of this battery band system is less than 66 ampere. So the sharing current of each battery or the working current per battery is less than 35 ampere. The, for the configurations of the 25 square meters copper wire is very sufficient. For the Power Plus all-in-one, the inverters and batteries are all working in a communication mode. So the network cables from the battery slave to the battery master and from the battery master to the inverter should be all connected. So here, the battery, the master and the battery slave also should be identified by the ID. That's the thick switch. 
The charging design of this system is relatively flexible and can be used in the multiple customers' uses scenarios. For the hybrid system, by the default setting, the solar energy will be given priority to generate the electricity for the load to charge the batteries and sell to the main. For sure, you can also change to charge the battery priority and set the preferred charging time when the electricity is checked. In the part of the AC charge, it not only supported but also can be set the charge permission or the AC charge power limit in the different time periods, which can be combined with the local mains power outage or the charging standards to obtain the greatest benefits of the AC charge. The LCD settings or the app modes can be allowed. It takes only less than one hour to install such a system to realize the work of the inverters and the batteries. You also can refer to our extra videos of our step batteries from the chassis board, batteries and the inverters on the top. Because all are seamless cast law, you only need to step them according to the step. And for the wiring path, you also can see it's very simple than other systems. For example, other systems, you need to nail the brackets on the wall or you need to find the cabinets to storage the batteries. Of course, it is very large scale systems that requires the high power inverter and the batteries. Split inverter and the batteries can be used. As I said just now, power plus all-in-one is mainly designed for the household energy storage. Usually, household loads and the battery savings do not need to require to be configured so large. The version is currently the standard of 220 volt max power. If there's the grid input, it will adapt to the automatic grid voltage and the frequency. For example, if the max power is 120 volt and 50 hertz, naturally the EPS output will be controlled to the 50 hertz too. But if in the beginning the grid identification is 50 hertz and then change to the 60 hertz, the inverter will report the frequency is out of range. And if it's confirmed is 60 hertz, then the inverters will will identify the grid frequency. For example, if the customers request the AC charge from the 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. per night and they charge the batteries at 50% SOC cutoff, this is a 10 kilowatt hour battery, so it means you only can max this charge 5 kilowatt hour. And when there's no solar and the battery is less, less than 50% SOC, the AC charge needs to charge the battery at any time. For sure, these requirements all can be set by remotely at all the LCD settings by the customers themselves.